It will be a long fight. But if any country can see this through, it is Singapore. So here we are. The government's circuit breaker measures will come into effect and will be as close to a lockdown as we can possibly get. No one really knows what to expect, but with our neighbours across the causeway having been under a similar movement control order for the past three weeks, I spoke to Joyce, a member of Vulcan Post's Malaysia team, to get a sense of what life might be like. So for context, like what are the rules that the government have put into place in Malaysia? So one of it is that only essential services, people who work in essential services are allowed to move out, in and out of their house. If you're medical staff, if you're in banking, if you're in the food and beverage services, like my friend's sister works in a bubble tea store, so that's an essential service apparently. <laughs> Generally, to get food, to get groceries, to get like medicine or anything, only one person can leave the house. How has life been these few weeks? Like, uh, how, are you, how are you guys coping? I naturally like staying inside, but when you're forced to do it and you're not allowed to go outside, it kind of sucks because it's like, it's like when your parents tell you, tells you to do your chores when you really wanted to do it. And then you just kind of get salty about it. Like, okay, now I don't really want to do it anymore. There's nowhere you can be anyway. So what else are you going to do besides work? You know, yeah. so like what, what excuse do you have? Like, where are you going? I'm going out for dinner. You can't say that. I'm going for an event. You can't say that also, you know. You also don't really mind clocking out late because you're in your room anyway. So your bed is right there. So it's fine. So uh, do you think you could continue living like this for the next three months? Seeing that there's like no end in sight supposedly for what this is going for no <laughs> it's really boring on the weekends actually like i actually don't mind saving work for the weekend so that i have something to do i think a lot of people just want this to end i think people just want it to go back to normal because no one really likes being kept inside for a long time it's like jail almost <laughs> as someone who's currently living in a semi-lockdown i guess uh, what's some advice you would give? i suppose don't panic by that's one, because there's always going to be stock. The delivery people are still working, the grocery store people are still working, the food people are still working. So even if you can't go out and buy, you can try delivery services. Livestock perspective, I would say find a hobby. I've been trying to find a hobby. Card related ones. Like, you know, the shuffling ones. Like <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Alright, I think that's all the questions I have for you. I hope you come out of this crisis a better card shuffler. Right. Uh, take care, and I hope this MCO ends soon. I hope you guys are okay too. <laughs> <laughs>